Hey guys, Lumsy here and welcome back to ETS2. We are here in Finland. We have a load at our backs. It is magnesium, 19 tons of it. And we are still live on Twitch. Have a couple of people joining us. Take 3. Or is it take 2? Actually, I was recording already a while ago and uh, the game crashed. No, not the game crashed. OBS crashed. My recording uh, software. So we have to repeat all over. <laughs> but we're back. So let's do this. We have a job that takes us from uh, Finland, from uh, Kovola, all the way crossing, taking the ferry, crossing Helsinki to Tallinn, crossing Estonia, Latvia, then arriving at Lithuania and uh, delivering to Kaunas. I hope the pronunciation is not too far off, but I have no clue how they're pronounced, so you'll have to pardon me, okay? Bonjour, YouTube. Yes, hi again. <laughs> If I Finland flag. I actually don't see the Finland flag in the emoji. Alright, let's do this. Now, since this is a long journey, we will probably have to do and cut this into two episodes. But we'll see how it works, alright? It's also, um, what time is it? 6 pm. So we might need to sleep in a bit. Thank you. Yes, 1.33 is out already. As of this recording, 1.33 is publicly released. Officially released. It's perfect. I'm not sure if it, they did any more changes since the last open beta. I don't think so. So most of the things that we have tried out in the past episodes should be still good. RIP mods. <laughs> yes, that's true. The map mods definitely. Well, pro mods, but some map mods are not so affected. Depends on which locations are being touched. And it's nice of SES to actually release a video for it. They released a video with all the with most of the new features, the main features of 1.33. Gives a good overview of what you can expect and what you can try out. There are some hidden updates though, like they didn't say the uh, the four axles. So we have a flatbed with a container pin, we're taking magnesium. This is a very nice load, interesting load. We don't see this often. And we have the four axles on this trailer. That's new as of 1.33. And this container pin, this flatbed with the container pin, this actual trailer is new as of 1.33 as well. So I do want to try that. Thank you for following and welcome to the channel. Say hello to us in chat so we can uh, greet you by name. If you want, only. no pressure. Wonder when pro mods will have compatibility for 1.33 and beyond the Baltic Sea. Yes, me too. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure how complicated it is because they'll have to remove some parts of their Finland, most probably, so that the beyond the Baltic Sea places will not get a conflict. Ooh, very interesting freight train. Is that what you saw before, Alex? It's very nice. You bet it would be at least a month after BTBS. That wouldn't be a far estimate. Yeah, I would estimate earliest couple of weeks to a month. Trains! Oh yes, we have Scotsman with us. <laughs> and thank you for the comments, by the way, guys. Thank you for the comments in YouTube. I've been getting a lot of comments and uh, they are mixed reviews. Some are liking the videos. Thank you for that. Some are hating them. Thank you anyway for commenting and providing your honest feedback. Some are fans of the live thing that we're having with the chat on the side. Some are not. Some like a face cam. Some do not. Unfortunately, we cannot please everybody. And uh, right now, this is the best I can offer. So I hope it is okay with you. If it's not, really sorry about that. But... This is what's, um, in my opinion, most fun, you know, driving with some people together with us, getting many inputs so I'm just not fumbling around. Well, I'm fumbling around, but some people are correcting me as we go. And then if you're missing anything, guys over at YouTube, and you can help us as well. So it's all a combined effort, you know, very nice. Mandelsoft did say they are testing 2.32 already. Ooh, that is fast. Which will just disable the stuff in the Baltic region for people who have DLC. 
they will do the merge as 2.33 okay that sounds very good wow cool thanks for that input he said that on squirrel stream okay good see things like that i would have no clue on my own that things like that happened but with the combined effort in the twitch chat and youtube chat youtube comments we get a more well-informed community yeah good news indeed so it might even take shorter quicker maybe i don't know two weeks my rough estimate anyone expecting to see a drunk kid fly past in a badly modified 70s toyota now we are in finland or statues you <laughs> <laughs> that might be a different game. Someone was asking, can we go to my summer car's house? Or something like that. Although someone commented as well that uh, the place where my summer car is taking place is not really in game. At least not in the official DLC. I think it's Pera Jarvi. Pera Jarvi? I'm not sure how it's called. I think it's in between one of the cities or two of the cities in, uh, in here. But the actual place isn't available. Ooh, some kind of roadwork. By the way, did you guys see the, the video from Bricks? He shared his video with the 1. Point, whoa! 1.33 1 random events. This is one of them. Clumsy is playing MC confirmed. <laughs> I wish. No, not really. I, it's too much for me. I would rage quit. I cannot handle that kind of stress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing games to really stress, not build it up. Oh, too bad we cannot see it in full, but we can zoom in the moment. Yeah, that's new as of 1.33. Oh, rip. What kind of uh, fighter jet is that? No wings though, huh? The wings must be a separate part. Finish Raging Simulator, exactly. Yeah, let's go with that. We don't see the jet so clearly, but fine. It does look beautiful in this screenshot. Oh, I cannot squeeze it in. Yes, let's be happy with that one. All right. There you go. Hey, Dennis, welcome back. Glad you made it today as well. How are you? So I just wanted to uh, give some comments or reply to some comments I've had in the YouTube and uh, in YouTube and uh, thanks again for sharing your honest feedback and I wanted to highlight some of them many people are like saying the do not like the DLC well it's a mixed review some people like it some people don't and we've been talking offline in chat in the Twitch chat with this before we started the recording and I wanted to repeat it for people who are watching this video in YouTube or for those who just joined us so some people are saying that the Baltic DLC is boring like it's flat doesn't have anything happening in there but I don't know I don't feel the same at all and I think it's mainly up to the overall uh, expectation you have and the overall mindset you have when you are driving through these areas I think a mindset shift is needed. Like if you're playing Euro Truck, it might not be best to look for, I don't know, adrenaline pumping situations or exciting circus riveting situations. In this in these areas it's more I think in reality flat and uh, full of trees, full of grass. And so it's more of a relaxing, soothing environment. And if you're, you go here expecting a lot of happenings, a lot of events, then you might be disappointed. But if you come in with the right mindset in mind, right mindset, then that can actually work in your favor and you'll be able to appreciate more the DLC. So just take that in mind, try and shift your mindset, see if it goes better for you. If you still don't like it, then fair enough, but at least you tried, right? At least you gave it a chance. That's what that's my suggestion. Ada, welcome back. How are you, man? And is it me or are you do you now have the silver badge? Congrats, man. I think you had the bronze badge before. 
The lean green machine. What is the lean green machine? Mirage. Do you have your passport ready? <laughs> yes, we have our passport ready. Uh, we'll be having some checkpoints along the way. Although, actually, we won't need our passport. I think. How the? How is it? How does it work? If you have different, uh, if you're crossing the EU, to crossing to a different country that is part of the EU, do you still need your passport if you're European? If you're part of the EU? Because for me, being a foreigner, for sure I need it. But if you're a local crossing a different country, do you still need it? Because there is no border, right? So I'm not sure. Almost 3 a.m. for you. 7.30 must wake up. Oh no, it's not very healthy. <laughs> if you need to sleep, I won't take it against you, man. I am happy enough that you dropped by. Have a good night, Raps. Thank you for being here. Catch you next time. Do you now pull a single trailer? Yes. Yes, yesterday. So in the previous episode, we had an HCT. But I had to shift it. I had to re return it to a single setup. Because uh, if we had an HCT, we wouldn't be able to leave Finland. HCTs are only legally allowed inside Finland. And I wanted to explore the other places as well. So we go with that. Oh, and crap, I forgot to change the route. Oh man, I wanted to pass by Lati. Okay, that's too late now. But it's not too late to go to the others, I think. So we can drop by here at least. Paldiski. And uh, Parnu as well. Okay, good, good. Better late than never, right? Better late than never. Okay, I'm good with that. Through EU nations, you don't think so. You don't need a passport. Looks like a mirage. What did you guys... What are you guys talking about? Is there a... Uh, did you guys see a new AI car? We are run into an overweight person. 20. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this, this guy won't give me space. We need passport to enter Russia. Yes, but we're not going through Russia in this uh, trip. We're going south. From Finland, Estonia, La uh, Latvia, and then Lithuania. I think I'm getting used to the geography of this place now, bit by bit. You need a passport, but only going in and out of Schengen. Okay. Ah, the plane, the plane, okay. The, the salt mirage. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Man. You guys are good. <laughs> That's exactly what you said when you read that question. Oh, there. How lucky, guys. We got that random event. That's the random event that Bricks was showing us. That's actually a random event, and we got it. Two fighter jets flying by. Now what, what models were those? Did you get a good look? Lucky! Nice. Oh man, this is a nice junction. I love spaghetti junctions like this one. <laughs> Such a pleasure drive. And there they are again. There they are again. How cool is that, right? Nice. French interceptor jet. Are those the same jets, do you think? Are those also mirages? Very cool indeed. And that is, I believe, new as of 1.33. Those are NATO. Clumsy targeted. <laughs> I don't I don't feel so good anymore. Oh my goodness. Helsinki. Oh this is nice. This is I think our first time exploring Finland in a uh, in a night driving setting. Engage. <laughs> that was an RR. What did you expect? Be happy that it's not BMW X5 X6. What is an RR? 
I, I have no clue when it comes to uh, planes. So you'll have to uh, be very uh, laymanish with me, so I can keep up. No, mirages are outdated. Okay. Okay. See, <laughs> clueless. But that's why I have you guys around to fill in the the huge gaps <laughs> in my knowledge. Also, I did try to play a modded profile with the Baltic DLC. So, Foggy Weather, Project Next Gen. Somehow, I'm not sure they match with the scenery. Like the textures. I think some of them got replaced by Project Next Gen, but... They don't match so much, in my opinion. I think I like the vanilla combination better. The trees and the road coming from the DLC itself. So, I'm not so sure if I'm seeing the right things. But I'll show you on Friday during the, the Clumsy Trucking stream. And for those who are in YouTube, you've probably seen it already. Because this will be released uh, during the week of December 3. They are outdated but very pretty. They do look like classics. Typhoons from England, France or Germany. Might be, might be. We should be headed into... Okay, we are arriving at Helsinki. Because we are taking the ferry. Thank you, retarder. Just, just a tap of service brakes. Cool building indeed. So we are actually entering Helsinki now and we're starting to see the buildings pop up. The urban feel. We're getting a shift into the urban feel now. <laughs> he did not take a picture on the bridge because it's night. <laughs> we won't get to see a lot. Bye, Mrs. Clumsy. There we go. Yeah, when it's night, I have a different uh, mindset. <laughs> I like it, the, the, the sunny sunny bridge shots when it's night i like driving through them but i don't like taking pictures so much they will be filled with rohan shots <laughs> i do like the feel though i do like the feel the night drive feel here Helsinki looks sweet indeed. Even comes with some tram tracks, and I'm sure we can get some trams in here at some point. We'll see some. Oi! Someone with a similar load? Not sure what that is though, but ours is prettier. Biased, of course. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think your message got blocked. <laughs> Close, but uh, no cigar. I even have like parked cars here inside. I love this. Like it's urban, but it's not like urban urban, you know, if you get what I mean. Like it's a city, but it's not that, doesn't have that full urban feel. We like it. There's a tram sign in there, but we have not been lucky enough to see a tram yet in this place. Is this where we go? Okay. Very hype. This has been uh, highlighted by SES, so we should take a look at it. Oh, pop, 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 pop. I think I have to turn left there. Looks great indeed. Not sure if I can make that though. Yeah, no problem. There we go. That's where we should be going. Urban. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How do you say urban? Do you pronounce it differently? Oh, even the ferry has gates. Does it open? Oi! <laughs> it doesn't. False hopes. I think I have to go around. False hope. I thought the gate was just open for me. 
Apparently, I'm not that special. Access denied. <laughs> you think? Okay, that's why the GPS is asking me to go around. There we go. It's of course waiting here. No trucks though. I think we're the only truck getting loaded today. U-turn hype. There we go. This is the entrance. WC anyone? Before we go on our journey? Go now or forever, forever hold your peace. <laughs> your peace. <laughs> oh my goodness. The puns. The puns are real. What does that say? Does that say anything? It says number one. Okay. Jadar, Jadar. <laughs> what WC means water closet. It's a restroom, toilet. Depends on which country you're in. In Europe though, WC is very common. Right. We are in. You can't spell the pronunciation properly. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, we can have. We can go to Travimund. Oh, that's very nice. Wow, all the way to Germany. There's actually a connection from Germany to Finland. Wow, that takes 29 hours though. That would be cool if you take a job. To Germany, you can just take that shortcut in terms of driving at least. But we are going to Tallinn. Going to Kerestir in a month or two. There we go. Okay, we didn't bounce around, that's good. That's a good sign. Yes, the border checkpoints definitely. Pro mods will be happy to use them for future projects or reworks. Pronounce the U wrong. So it's not urban, it's what? Arban? Hmm. Maybe different cultures. <laughs> I don't know. That Ravimund ferry for people go without going east LC. Ah yes, that's a good point. That's a good point. So if you look at the map, this is this has been the philosophy of uh, SES that they allow um, if you have one, only one DLC, they allow you to go there without buying the other connecting DLCs. Like in this case, going east is around this point, I guess. And normally you wouldn't be able to reach the Baltic, beyond the Baltic Sea, if you have you don't have this one. But with the ferry, you can actually take a ferry from Travimund going to Helsinki. So you get access to the DLC, the beyond the Baltic Sea, even without the going east. That's a good observation. That's exactly what it's for. And I think I uh, missed the exit. Where is the exit? I just follow this one. I think this is the right one. Not so sure. Really depends on the dialect. Urban. Hmm. I don't like that pronunciation. <laughs> That's my personal taste. So I'll be keeping it in urban. They declared martial law. Is that true? Are you guys okay? And thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. Feel free to say hi so we can give you a proper welcome. Kiev. Okay, this is the exit. Okay, that's good. We got the GPS correctly now. Nice. So let's have a let's have a look. Uh, 589 kilometers to go. Maybe it's not so bad. Estonia. Entering Estonia. 24 hours. Did you see that sign below? You are required to have your lights open 24 hours. That's a good sign. Makes it clear because I always get confused there. When do you need your lights open and when not? 
And a good indication if you don't know is if you look at the AI cars, they follow the law mostly, when it comes to lights at least. So if you see AI cars having their lights on 24-7, even if it's morning, even if it's daytime, and that means that country has laws that uh, require you to have them open the entire day. You, 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 you can wish that. <laughs> it's free to dream. <laughs> the silver badge gives you a silver badge. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. It's getting mad in here. At night, there is no proper traffic light. It goes to amber. So you're on your own, basically. Very nice place, that one, though very complex area there yeah so we get to the meaty parts of the DLC meaty as in more city parts less of the quote-unquote boring areas as some of the guys have said but yeah I don't find this boring at all I find this perfect for the reason that I play ETS2 in the first place which is to get some relaxation going the roads are so good to drive in even if the AI tends to get funky at times well I tend to get funky myself anyway so I guess it's an even trade oh. almost hit that the Russian military went after a Ukrainian ship for intruding into Russian waters whoa Oh, we didn't have right of way. <laughs> Not all parts of the world are visually exciting. That's that's very true. <laughs> that's what's that's what happens when you have amber traffic lights. <laughs> I keep assuming I have right of way. I feel too special. <laughs> my bad, that was my bad. Drip. Hey, Jerwin. <laughs> Jerwin came out of his uh, spot just to uh, show his emotion, <laughs> his frustration at that accident. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Accident number one. Clumsy moment indeed. Where are we going now? Looks like a very uh, sneaky place. Let me see. Okay, just passing by and discovering something. Yes, I... I was. I was born during the martial law period. So I don't really have memories about martial law itself, but I've heard a uh, lot of stories. Not very nice stories, but real stories. And uh, we vow to ourselves never again. But it seems like people are starting to forget. And not to get any political, because polit politics is always a very complex topic. But yeah. Whew. Very heavy topic. Give way. Giving way is not in my vocabulary. <laughs> I should pay closer attention to the, the signs. Man, this is such a nice view. I don't know, I, I enjoy driving through like this. And night driving is not bad, huh? Dri night driving is actually pretty scenic. We don't get a lot of screenshots though, but... Man, it gives you that more relaxed look even. Does that say? Me did? Hopefully that's nothing bad. Paldiski, yes. I remember we wanted to pass through there. <laughs> that I should have known Clumsy was streaming. I wanted to highlight one thing that Alex said 
um, what was it? What was it? I'm trying to remember now. He said it right before I crashed. Uh, help me remember, guys. Alex, what were, you, what were you saying a while ago? You had a very good point. I wanted to expound on it, but the bus came in the way. <laughs> you take way, not give way, exactly. That is my sickness. Is that called the curfew, da? Luigi! <laughs> Is that Mario's brother? <laughs> mm. Ah, there we go. Exactly, that's the one. Not all parts of the world are visually exciting, exactly. You have to have the right balance in there. If everything is exciting, then nothing is exciting. We, um, we were talking about this earlier, I'm not sure if this was during the recording or offline or uh, during the stream only. But yeah, if you make everything special, then nothing is special. So you have to have, to, to have the right uh, balance between the chill parts and the more exciting parts. And this is, I think, perfectly exampled, perfectly shown in this DLC. Just has the right balance of excitement, variety, and relaxing sceneries. Just for Ram, hey, how are you? I have a press copy. So SES uh, gave me a copy so I can show you guys in advance. Hype it up. Rightfully so. <laughs> Reminds you of your mathematical paradoxes. Ooh. Mathematical paradoxes, fancy term. <laughs> now you'll have to tell us all about it. In layman's terms, of course, so I can understand. <laughs> yes, it's early access. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, just for Ram. I'll call you Ram, okay? That's fine. <clears throat> Easier for me. 70 here, we're good, and uh, I'm going to look at the uh, signs <laughs> because this amber light is always getting to me. Okay, now everybody gives way. Earlier, no one gives way, now everybody gives way. I like that. Look at that sign, Tallinn, that electronic signboard. It says Tallinn there. It's very nice. Looks like a building, but it's actually a lettering. I, I bet that's real life. The most serene of all five map DLCs. I would definitely agree there, yes. Most serene, so argu arguably, could also be the most relaxing, most soothing of them all. That might be perfect after a long day's work, after a hard uh, exam, you know, things like that. Perfect for relaxation, perfect for what ETS2 was uh, built for in a way. Scania dealer, guys. We were discussing Scania as well a while ago. How we all like the next gen Scania, but uh, it's too saturated. Everybody loves next gen Scania, so there are too many next gen Scanias on the road. So the the special factor kind of diminishes a bit and doesn't feel as special anymore when you're driving one. And that's exactly why I'm driving a DAF XF106 to change it up a bit. Scania boo. <laughs> That, and we also have a Scania hater here, <laughs> in the form of Flying Scotsman. You like France and Italy very much, and Scandinavia is pretty good. This one makes so far for you. Yeah. Jury is still out in that one, huh? Let's see, maybe we can change our mind as we go along the place. Train! Oh, he missed it. Man.
Yes, the Renault Range T, I think, is coming out very soon. Can we sleep there? What time is it anyway? It is 2.45. Let's go sleep. Let's go sleep. I think we had enough nighttime driving already. Absalu. Yes, I read the post from Sissel. Sissel's, uh, in Sissel's Facebook, he shared a post from Twitter where uh, someone tweeted to Renault Range, uh, Renault, the Renault Twitter account, asking them why they aren't uh, releasing their trucks in ETS2 when other truck companies have it, have done so. And the uh, only reply from Renault was, wait for it. So I think it's uh, coming out soon. When? No one knows exactly, but soonish. Hey Rohan, glad you made it. Almost everyday streams. <laughs> the key, Rohan, is uh, staying tuned to the Discord. <laughs> yeah, but uh, right now, this week, in the coming weeks, schedule will be very weird because I have to do a lot of pre-recording because I am out in many weeks like I, like I mentioned I'm out December 3 week of December 3 so I have to have videos by then after that I'll be back for a week and then after that week I'll be out from the week of December 17 all the way until the end of the year I'll be back January 3 or something for Christmas break I'll be going back to Manila during that time so that means I have to have some videos ready as well that means it's going to be very hectic and I'm not sure if I can manage daily videos during that time but I'll do my best maybe we can do every other day at most we will see but that means we will have more live recording sessions yar <laughs> indeed Slow down, please. Did we sleep already? I, I forgot to sleep, didn't I? <laughs> Goodness. Okay, no sleep then. More night driving. What did I do? I uh, I fueled up, but I didn't sleep. Dang it. You have yet to find a Euro 6 truck you really like. The next gen scan is the nicest for you. I would have no arguments there. Yeah, in terms of the quality the look, the feel. I think I like best next-gen Scania, but because of the saturation, it kind of turns me off at the moment. So it's it's nothing bad against the Scania, it's just there's too many of them. So I kind of like to have a different one. Sometimes being too good has its downsides. <laughs> You're silver. Yes, congrats. Who needs sleep? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, you need to, you need sleep, guys. You need proper amounts of sleep. And if you're on the younger side of the spectrum, you might say you don't need it, but believe me, you will eventually. And if you start, uh, and if you keep on, uh, quote unquote, abusing your body, you will pay it back later. So might as well start early get enough amount of sleep you'll thank yourself for it later on in life when you get more fragile speaking of fragile what's all with the bouncy stuff volvo fh is an awesome euro 6 truck ah definitely yeah dirt road hype indeed Sure thing, Rohan. Catch you in a bit. There are some design decisions you don't like on the Volvo E6 so much. Well, you've, you've probably seen it firsthand, right? So you have more experience on that. From what I've seen, I'm liking it very much, but I guess <clears throat> in terms of. Uh, the actual driving experience, I cannot really share any inputs. <clears throat> I'm locked to the virtual side of things. And practical stuff like, I don't know, the feel. Oh man, this is so good. 
I think we'll have to take a photo. Even if it's night time, I cannot resist. You've also been inside one and you still love it. That's good to hear. Then that just means you guys have different tastes. <laughs> That's good. That's good to hear. I do love that truck. Okay. That is actually a pretty nice view with the sky at the back like that. Not too shabby. It's also a roundabout below us, looks like. Renault Premium. Ooh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to grab a drink. Looks like you guys have opposite tastes. <laughs> Never been inside one of those, me neither. Me neither. The only truck we all like is Iveco, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> someone is uh, getting a violent reaction. I think we said just said the bad words. Oh, here we go again with the 90 km per hour speed limit in a single lane road like this one. I'm very skeptical about that, but fine. Let's follow the law. Also, this truck doesn't seem to like to go to 12th gear at all. Even at 90 kilometers, it's still at 11th gear. The most innocent truck. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. What does that mean? <laughs> the Mallard. Is that a train? No clue. You love Ivecos, but you are part Italian. Ah, there you go. Yeah, this is nice. We actually have very varied tastes here in the stream. How about you guys? If you're watching this on YouTube, let us know in the comments. Which truck do you love the most? Which brand? Which uh, model? Share away. Do you want to sleep? No, no sleep. Because sunlight is coming anyway. That's a long wall of text. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are not talking about politics, okay? But I'll keep you guys at it. <laughs> I'm going to skip that. I think it's too long for me. <laughs> oh, I love the workhorses. Iveco and MEN. Yeah, more practical stuff. <laughs> more than looks, it's the power and the practicality. Man, look at the sunrise at the, at the back. Where's the sun? There it is. Beautiful. We don't have foggy weather, but the vanilla skyboxes are definitely improving. Goodness, look at that. And look at that, Parno. Discovered. Hey, Hiro. Welcome back. Scania Next Gen S. Yes, definitely at the top of the list for many people. I think myself included. Kind of depends on the taste though, on the mood. Iveco Power. Mallard <clears throat> is an LNER Pacific A4 steam logo. Oh, world speed record for steam engine. Nice. It did sound like a train. Okay, at least I think, at least I got that bit right. Craft Veco Power. You say Iveco is most innocent, as in you've not heard it in any sort of controversy. Ah, I see. Very clean reputation. I see, I see. So it just does its job. It does its. It, it's a truck. It's a work truck. No fancy stuff. No uh, controversies and whatnot. You think the R looks nicer than the S? Ooh. We have very different tastes indeed. I like the S better. The R for me feels a bit uh, squished. Oh, this one doesn't have traffic lights in the distance. Crap. I have to peer out. Is it green? It's green. Okay. Makes, me want, makes you want to drive an Iveco in-game now. <laughs> Good one. 
I like City has some very nice Iveco truck mods. You like all the European trucks mainly because you have no in real life experience with them. Same with me. Yeah. Well, me, I don't have any experience with any truck, so that probably means I like all trucks, which is not a bad thing. I'm a simple guy. Give me a truck and I'm happy. <laughs> as long as performance is good and the model looks good. <laughs> I squeeze in. Haha, <laughs> thank you. That car actually has a passenger in it. I think that's new as well with 1.33. truck everybody makes fun of. Maybe they make fun of it because they make, can't make fun of anything else. Like it doesn't have any uh, serious flaw. I don't know. I have no clue. But it's not look good looking or anything either. Like somewhere in the middle. You have your own grievances against... Uh, okay. Yeah. Skip that. <laughs> I know, I know it's not a joke, Jessica. Yeah, Alex AP has some very nice Iveco mods. I've driven some of them. They're very nice. Adds more customization options to the vanilla trucks. And adds a bit of a homey feel in the interior as well. Okay, we cannot allow that, Gato. We'll have to block that one. Language. <laughs> I get your feeling though. <laughs> I know sometimes you can get carried away with the emotion <laughs> we can we all do that you like almost all the trucks own exception the truck carnivals what is that like a colored lot of chrome and all the shiny stuff ah I get what you mean yes yeah the too flashy stuff which is not really practical like Indian or South American uh-huh yeah I'm more of a plain looking truck myself I mean, show, some show trucks are nice, but some of them are too much for me. Depends on the design. Man, I like the look of this. These trees look so good when you bunch them all together like that. Couple that with the lampposts and the, the roads and everything else. Looks so good. Ah, so relaxing. Not truck. Not a fan of uh, US trucks. Yes, that one we know. <laughs> Battle it out with Peterbilt. Ivecos are Italian, so they don't have the best reputation for reliability. Ah, is that it? But I'm sure they are more than capable. Distance, 400 kilometers left. I think we'll have to cut the episode here. Otherwise, it would take like one hour and a half. And this is perfect because we are uh, approaching Latvia. So I think let's pass by here. Let's see how this border looks. This optional border thingy. And we'll stop somewhere. And then we'll continue in the next episode. I should have stopped there. Fine. Let's stop somewhere here instead. Maybe let's stop somewhere uh, less uh, obtrusive. You don't like the Mercs? Oh, why not? They look pretty good. Are they not uh, very nice to handle? Volvos are the safest make of vehicle in the UK. That's good to hear. Italians design some of the world's most beautiful sports cars, but their trucks are still lacking some oomph. Yeah, that's a bit of a wonder, huh? I guess it's not all Italians are the same. That's just like any country, any nation out there. Anyway, let's cut that for a sec. Let's stop this episode here. We will continue in the next episode, guys, because I just noticed the episode is running for almost an hour now. And we have 400 kilometers to go. So we will cut that here and we will continue our journey in the next episode, okay? 
thank you for watching if you're watching this on youtube please don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy this one comment share and i uh, really appreciate all the comments even the not so pleasant ones but at least you're honest <laughs> thanks for watching have a nice day catch you in the next episode and for those who are in the stream stick around we're not done yet thanks and bye bye